Leviathan, or the matter, for me and power of a commonwealth, ecclesiastical and civil. Book by Thomas Hobbes. Narrated by Andrew. Originally published in 1651. Chapter 1. Of Sense. Concerning the thoughts of man, I will consider them first singly, and afterwards in train, or dependence upon one another. Singly, they are every one a representation or appearance of some quality or other accident of a body without us, which is commonly called an object. Which object worketh on the eyes, ears, and other parts of man's body, and by diversity of working, protesteth diversity of appearances. The origin all of them all is that which we call sense. For there is no conception in a man's mind, which hath not at first, totally, or by parts, been begotten upon the organs of sense. The rest are derived from that origin all. To know the natural cause of sense is not very necessary to the business now in hand, and I have elsewhere written of the same at large. Nevertheless, to fill each part of my present method, I will briefly deliver the same in this place. The cause of sense is the external body or object, which pres set the organ proper to each sense, either immediately, as in the tast and touch, immediately, as in seeing, hearing, and smelling. Which pressure, by the mediation of nerves and other strings and membranes of the body, continued inwards to the brain and heart, causeth there a resistance or counterpressure, or endeavor of the heart to deliver itself, which endeavor because outward seemeth to be some matter without. And this seeming or fancy is that which men call sense, and consisteth as to the eye in a light or color figured to the ear in a sound to the nostril in an odor to the tongue and palate, and a savor, and to the rest of the body, in heat, cold, hardness, softness, and such other qualities as we discern by feeling. All which qualities called sensible are in the object that causeth them, but so many several motions of the matter, by which it presseth our organs diversly. Neither in us that are pressed are they anything else but divers motions, for motion prodesseth nothing but motion, but their appearance to us is fancy, the same waking, that dreaming. And as pressing, rubbing, or striking the eye, makes us fancy a light, and pressing the ear, prodesseth a din. So do the bodies also we see, or hear, produce the same by their strong, though unobserved action, for if those colors, and sounds, were in the bodies, or objects that caused them, they could not be severed from them, as by glasses, and in echoes by reflection, we see they are, where we know the thing we see, is in one place, the appearance in another. And though at some certain distance, the real and very object seem invested with the fancy it begets in us, yet still the object is one thing, the image or fancy is another. So that sense in all cases is nothing else but original fancy, caused, as I have said, by the pressure, that is, by the motion of external things upon our eyes, ears, and other organs thereunto ordained. But the philosophy schools, through all the universities of Christendom, grounded upon certain texts of Aristotle, teach another doctrine. And say, for the cause of vision, that the thing seen, sendeth forth on every side a visible species in English, a visible shoe, apparition, or aspect, or being seen. The receiving whereof into the eye, is seeing. And for the cause of hearing, that the thing heard, sendeth forth an audible species, that is, an audible aspect, or audible being seen which entraying at the ear, mocketh hearing. Nay, for the cause of understanding also, they say the thing understood sendeth forth intelligible species, that is, an intelligible being seen. Which coming into the understanding, makes us understand. I say not this, as disapproving the use of universities. But because I am to speak hereafter of their office in a commonwealth, I must let you see on all occasions by the way, what things would be amended in them amongst which the frequency of insignificant speech is one. This is a great audiobook production, created for research, study, and discussion purposes. For more audiobook like this, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get notified when we post a new audiobook. Thanks for listening.